The Chinese have just created a huge monster and it is open source. It beats some of the best models in the world and it just might be the only local AI model that you will ever need. It is called Quen3. Let me explain. Quen3 is Alibaba's latest family of open source models, language models, LLMs. They did not release just one model. They've released a huge lineup of powerful language models. And the best part is there are both dense models and also mixture of export model, which is MOE models. They release these models under highly permissive Apache 2.0 license. That means you can use them commercially and also run them locally without any restriction at all. That also means that if you have got an enterprise use case, you want to use it for your company company problems, then you can use it. You want to use it for fine tuning. You want to use the model as it is. For anything, you don't have to have any permission at all. You can just simply use it. Now let's break down these models. First, let's look at the dense models. Quen3 comes in sizes ranging from 0.6 billion parameters to 32 billion parameters. And this is exactly going back to my point. One of the biggest reason why this is the king of local models. Then we have got the MOE model, the mixture of experts model. These include Quen3, 30 billion, a 3 billion. So 30 billion is the total size of the model and the active parameters are 3 billion parameters model. And the true, the biggest monster of all is the last one, the Quen3 235 billion A22 billion parameter model. So 22 billion parameters are active and there are totally 235 billion parameter. This makes it incredibly efficient for its size because all you need is computation required to run 22 billion parameters at a given particular point and you get the juice of 235 billion parameter model. Even the smaller MOE models like Quen3 30 billion A3 billion outperforms its predecessor Quen2.5 32 billion. So the 3 billion active parameter 30 billion MOE model outperforms Quen2.5 32 billion parameter model. So it uses lesser resources fewer resources and you get a much better model. So for for the same amount of performance, you have to just spend much, much a lesser compute and uh, power means nothing without performance. So if you were to look at the benchmarks on multiple benchmarks like MMLU, GSM8K, Humanival and other coding and reasoning challenges, Quen3 models hold their own. 235 billion parameter model delivers SOTA state of the art results and even the smaller ones perform well above their size classes. This is truly one of the things that people expected Llama 4 to do. But unfortunately, Llama 4 did not set the tone. But Quen3 here has set the tone with the newer family of models that really is state of the art. For example, the 7 billion parameter and 14 billion parameter for are really, really perfect for local use cases, depending upon the RAM you have got. So I've got a 36 GB machine. I can very well easily conveniently use a 14 billion parameter model with four bit quantization. And this is where Quen is truly set apart. Quen at a maximum supports 128,000 tokens. Now, even if you cannot use 128,000 tokens, this is going to make the model really good with large context use cases. So it could be either RAG, Ritual Augmented Generation, or it could be just simply in context learning with really, really large context. It can hold up to 128,000 context window depending upon the compute that you have got because it's a transformers model at the end of the day. So you need a lot of compute to run it at its maximum size, but for smaller size, smaller context window, this should be extremely good and efficient. So this makes Quen3 perfect for a lot of enterprise use cases. And also with the Apache 2.0 license, this model really becomes a strong candidate for fine tuning use cases. Now it just gets better because Quen3 supports 119 languages and different dialects. So it's not just English with extras. It is really built for multilingual use case. So the other model that is really good with multilingual use case is Gemma, but Gemma doesn't have a permissive license. Now, once again, it's not just Llama 4 is beaten by Quen3, but it is also Gemma. It is also Mistral and other models that you believed that could be the flag bearer of open source is being completely crushed by this Chinese monster. So whether you are working in Spanish, Arabic, Hindi, Swahili or Mandarin Chinese, then Quen3 is the model that you should be thinking about. Another unique feature within Quen3 is that it has got hybrid thinking. So Quen3 allows you to choose the reasoning style. So that also means that you can toggle between fast 
shallow responses or deep step by step reasoning. So this is like switching between chat GPT and Claude thinking mode and non thinking mode depending upon your task. So how can you access the model? The model is available on Hugging Face, Model Scope, even on Kaggle, but they've also partnered up with Llama CPP, SG Lang, VLLM, MLX, K Transformers, and a bunch of other ecosystem partners. So whether you're building chatbots, research, generating code, local productivity use cases, Quen3 gives you complete control, no APA, no limits, no surveillance, even if you speculate that this is a model from China, now you're not doing anything with China because you're going to download the model and use it. Quen3 is not just another LLM release. I think this is the most complete, performant and flexible open source families out there. And this is setting a huge tone in how open source models are going to conquer this world of LLMs, large language models. So the Chinese didn't just build a monster. They might have just handed you the best, the last LLM that you would ever need. Run it locally. Let me know how you feel it. See you on the video. Happy prompting.